gentlewoman from New York. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield to the gentleman from Virginia and sponsor of the legislation as much time as he may consume. The gentleman from is recognized. Well, Mr. Speaker, first of all, I'd like to thank Chairwoman Velasquez for helping me to bring my bill to the floor today. I can't thank my good friend enough for the hard work and the bipartisanship that she has shown in her leadership of the committee. We couldn't ask for a better chairwoman. I'd also like to thank Ranking Member Graves and Mr. Thompson for his support. Mr. Speaker, I have the honor to represent Virginia's second district, home to the largest concentration of veterans, military personnel, and military families anywhere in the country. We know firsthand that our community is stronger not only because of the service of our military personnel, but also because of the contributions of our veterans. Because the same drive and dedication that leads men and women from Hampton Roads and the Eastern Shore to serve our country in uniform also leads many of our veterans to take on the challenge of entrepreneurship. And like small businesses all across the country, veteran-owned small businesses are a crucial part of our economy helping to create jobs and spur economic growth. And it's no secret why they are successful. The skills and training that our veterans learn in the military are incredibly valuable in the private sector. However, despite their experience, many veterans leave the military without the resources to translate their skills to the challenges of starting and running a business. This bill will make sure our veterans have the support they need by establishing a network nationwide of veterans business centers. These centers will provide counseling and business training. They will assist in accessing capital and securing loans and credit, and they will help veterans navigate the procurement process to compete more effectively in the federal marketplace. Earlier this year, I spoke with a veteran in my district who started his own small business just three years ago. And as of this year, he has already created hundreds of jobs. Despite years of experience in the military, he told me that the only way that he got started was because of the support from other veteran business owners who showed him the ropes. While he was fortunate, not all of our veterans are in the same position. The Veterans Business Centers will ensure that all veterans have access to the same resources and information so that they too can launch and grow their own businesses. We know already from the existing outreach centers and small business development centers that the model can be very successful. My bill will build on what works and expand access to these critical services, especially in areas of the country with a large number of veterans. The Veterans Business Center Act of 2009 has support of both the American Legion and the veterans of foreign wars. And most importantly, it will help spur the growth of small businesses and create jobs. Because at a time when we are working to rebuild our economy, America must draw upon the ingenuity of our small businesses and the dedication of our veteran entrepreneurs. I strongly urge my colleagues to support this bill and yield back the balance of my time.